Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna do a much belated uh, Bath and Body Works haul with you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys, it's actually two different trips. Um, one was for Candle Day, or I think candles were, were they BOGO? Or they, no, I think they were like $11 each. They're normally like 25, which is insane. I never pay full price, you guys know me. Um, and then I went another time there was some other deal going on. I think I had some coupons, you know. I got, I got a your girl got to use her, her coupons, right? Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna show you what we got in the bag first. Start off with our little bag. Okay, so the first item we have is this Dream Bright Moisturizing Body Wash. This is a new scent, so I'm pretty excited for it. It kind of reminds me of um, the like A Thousand Wishes or um, In the Stars. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So it has like this very luxurious scent, like, you know, kind of perfumey, but it does smell really good. So the notes on this are Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallized Vanilla. And okay, so the next one is Moonlight Path. I think I have gotten this before, but it's been a hot minute. So let's check it out. Mm. So this one is not like overly sweet or fruity. It's kind of a, like a light floral. So this is Night Blooming Jasmine Blue Violet, Sheer Lavender, Lily of the Valley, and Soft Musk. I definitely get the musk notes in here. And then we have Vanilla Mocha Martini. Um, I really like chocolate smells. Uh, I know it's uh, not super popular, I guess. Let me know down below. Do you guys like, like, you know, chocolate, like lotions or perfumes that kind of smell like chocolate? Because I know everybody's different. Not everyone does. So let me know what you guys think down below, like, which you prefer. Um, okay, so Vanilla Mocha Martini. I just gave away like some lotions to my um, one of my local groups just because like I don't know like I've seemed to like acquired like a lifetime of lotions and I just like know like okay I'm never gonna use this up and I have like so many so I you know like to donate whatever I've had for a while I'm not gonna use not gonna finish maybe someone else will also want it, all that mm. it's definitely I can see why they call it a martini because it kind of has a, like a, smells like chocolate, but it has kind of like, like a vanilla-y type of thing going on in there. Just say that. <laughs> All right, so the next one is this Butterfly, I think I have this in the lotion, Butterfly Moisturizing Body Wash. This smells really good. Um, this has raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla notes. Mm. It smells really good. It's hard to describe some of these, but it smells, yeah, like... Like a floral with some sweet notes. So, that's always nice. Oops. So I got another one of these Dream Bright perfume body sprays, just like that body wash I just showed you. I got the perfume sprays. Now this one I feel like is a little bit stronger as the um, like as the little perfume spray. Um, so I'm excited to to use that. And then next we have a Fireside Flurries body lotion. This is what that one looks like. I think I've gotten this before. Something Flurries. I'm not sure if it's this one or maybe another one. But that smells really good. Mm, love that. Nice. It's actually, it's kind of smells like chocolate in this too. Mmm. I like the um, kind of woodsy marshmallow scents, if that makes sense. Just kind of like the marshmallow fireside. That smells so good. 
And of course, this is a tried and true, been around for a while. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel uh, body scrub. Picked it up. Um, so, I was pretty excited about that. And then I also got this Gingham by Bath and Body Works body scrub. I have like so many body scrubs. Um, but I am pretty excited about this one. This one smells really nice. Mmm. It smells really good. So that one is kind of more of like a lighter smell, like just a very clean scent without being like too overpowering. Okay. And I also just realized I also got this one, the Gingham Love by Bath and Body Works. Uh, this is foaming sugar and body scrub. This one uh, has notes of sugared red berries, blushing freesia, and rose meringue. So this is, I guess, a new scent because I guess the gingham scent is really quite popular. And I thought this smelled really nice. Why? Oh, there's a seal on it. No wonder I can't smell it. <laughs> That's weird. The other one didn't have a seal. Okay, I did smell this in the the body wash so if I can't get it off and yeah it, it smells kind of it's it's sweeter it's a little bit sweeter than the more clean um, original gingham but uh, this gingham love smells really nice so highly recommend okay so Okay, so I got this set, um, and I guess you have to buy, what was it called? Um, you buy, I think, $40 worth of product, 40 or 80 Yeah, I think it was, you spend, uh, yeah, I think it's at least $40 of product, and then you, they give you this gift box for another $40, but the value of products in here highly, like, makes it worth it. I'm trying to think how they... Put this on because okay so it's like that okay let me make sure okay I'm gonna show you guys okay so it's this whole set so you buy for dollars with the products you get uh, you pay $40 for everything that's inside of here. So, very, very good value. So the first one here, definitely keeping this one, is the Sugar Doodle. Snickerdoodle. Sugar Doodle. Sugared, oh, sugared Snickerdoodle. So, yeah, look at that. It's cute packaging. I just finished up my marshmallow, I think it was gingerbread marshmallow in this size. So I like having some spiced um, candles kind of going on. Definitely, yeah, smells like snickerdoodle. It smells good, like at like a bakery uh, at Christmas time. So warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. So that is that. And I don't remember how much this was valued at. I think it was valued at over 100. Um, and we also got, okay, so let's see what the value is here. So the value of this one by itself is $15.50. And this one is a sugared snickerdoodle uh, bath fizzy, which is nice. I don't, I don't even know if I saw this scent being sold outside of this set. Yeah, so that's what this looks like. So it's the same as that candle, which will be nice for a bath. Um, oh. Ice cinnamon rolls <laughs> and a hand sanitizer. That's kind of nice. I don't think I have this. I have so many little hand sanitizers. I don't think I've bought any lately. I have so many from like previous years, even before COVID. Like I got to get through what I have. So I haven't really bought too many sanitizers. I have bought like the bigger ones because I like to keep them by my desk. Um, but I did pick up this guy so all right all right so this one I think I almost bought this one this is the body spray of dream bright maybe I will 
gift this one because I already have the body wash and then the fine fragrance um, little thingy. So I might maybe, maybe I'll gift this one. I haven't decided yet. Um, okay, so this one is a Fresh Balsam um, hand wash. I don't think I got this, this scent this year. I did buy a whole bunch of scents during their like, I don't know, it was like a $2.95 soap sale and then I had coupons on top of that. I don't think I got too many like holiday scents. I got a lot of like autumnal um, and like Halloween, but I think I did still get some like wintery scents, but I don't think I have the fresh balsam, but I have gotten this one before. It smells really, really good. Just like going to a tree farm. It smells really, really good. Nice tried and true. Um, so this is just woodland balsam, uh, crisp eucalyptus and cedar wood. So everything you love about the holidays. All right. Ooh. So this is another one. Dream Bright shower gel, just like that creamy body wash, but the shower gel version. Um, these smell really good. Sometimes there are some slight differences, even though it's the same scent, different product. Mm. So it smells really good. So it's pretty sweet. Then we have the sugared snickerdoodle hand cream. So that's cool. And then we have the Dream Bright body lotion. So I might gift the Dream Bright products and keep everything else for myself. It smells good. Maybe I'll keep the lotion, I don't know. <laughs> Undecided. But that does smell good. And I think the value is pretty good. So let's see how much value of everything is. So we have the $15.50 for the candle. The bath bomb is $9.95. So thereabouts we have about $25. Um, $27. Um, 27 um so then we have another do, 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 uh, so we got like 42 so that's what basically what i paid just for like those four products is what i paid for this box 42 um plus 850 so like 50 50 dollars we got and then we got another 50 15 50 so like 60 65 50 and then 1750 so we have 65 plus 17 65 okay so like 80 like 80, 83 and then 750 so okay so we have about 90 90 dollars worth of product in here um and the total um amount of the box uh was 40 so that's a pretty good deal i mean that's less than half so everything was like 60 percent off or something um so that's a really good deal uh, for all these products, um, so I will probably keep some for myself, just treat myself, and then I will gift the rest. So, um, okay, here we go, I'm gonna wrap this back. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so putting that back. All right, let's see. So that was the first lot. I lost the receipt, so. Um, uh, let's see, I have the receipt still. Right. Well, okay, so still have the receipt, but let's move on to the candles. So I got five candles on candle day. I had to rewatch a couple, uh, or one of my old videos back because I'm like, I suspected I had a couple of the scents I was about to buy. Like there was one, I think it was like under the Christmas tree. I almost bought another one. And then I rewatched an old video from I think last year's haul where I'm like, oh, I already have that one. Good thing I, good thing I looked. And I didn't really burn too many candles last year. I don't know, just like the craziness of like 
getting settled when we first moved and all of that. So I didn't, I didn't buy any candles. Uh, or I didn't really burn candles. I also didn't really buy candles and then I haven't really burned them. So I'm trying to use up what I have really. Um, I did buy some more, but um, I'm trying to like use up some of the ones that I've had since like 2020 when I did my Goose Creek and whatnot. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the candles that I got. They give you a nice flat. All right, the first one is this iced winter balsam. I wanted to get the vanilla balsam, but I think my mom, my sister-in-law got the last two, which is like, dang it, I wanna try that, but maybe next time. Um, so this is a little Christmas tree on top. This is uh, has notes of eucalyptus, sugared pine, and fresh balsam. And I really, ooh, yeah, so it's like, like a sweet balsamy, like, Imagine like just the regular balsam, like just the Christmas tree smell, and then like top off, top it off with like a little, a little sugar. Um, so it's like, it's nice. It's really nice. Like kind of, almost like sugared balsam. I want to say. It smells really good. I can't wait to burn it. All right, this one's a tried and true. This is winter. I think the thing that gets me is that they always change the packaging and like the design of the candles. Same scent different color, different packaging. So that's why I'm like, maybe it's a marketing thing. I don't know. It's like, hey, I don't have this. And you go home, it's like, oh, I have the same thing, but it's just different. It looks different. Um, does it happen to you? I don't know. Uh, but winter, one of my favorites. You can't go wrong. This is just the perfect smell. You don't even have to just only burn this for Christmas. You can burn this through January through March. Like keep burning your seasonal candles. It's just so clean and just, has those winter vibes going. It smells so good. Highly, highly recommend. Oh my God. So that yeah, winter is just a good staple candle. If you haven't tried Bath and Body Works candles, I highly recommend it. getting winter. I think it's like, like really my top, top one. So the notes on this are fir branches, dark green pine, and citrus zest. So, all right. The next one is Tree Farm. Which I thought was interesting. And this is the this is the color. Someone's opening a coconut in the background. Okay, so it smells good. It's actually not as strong as the balsam, but it has a similar smell. So this is crisp pine needle, warm cedar, and spiced apple. So it smells nice. And then we have Land of Snow. I tried to deliberately look for new scents. Um, of course, I love the winter. I did get that one again, but I try to seek out like some new stuff. Um, and like, tell me what you guys think, but you know, there are very few things I don't like in life, but peppermint specifically, like the artificial peppermint, even like, like if it's pure peppermint essential oil, I can live with it. Like if it's in my toothpaste or whatever, and if it's natural, not that like fake crest saccharine taste, but like peppermint this time of year seems to be in like everything. Like ruin hot chocolate with it, ruin cookies with it. And it's just like, ugh, what is, why does mint have, or why does peppermint specifically have to be in everything? Because I don't mind winter mint or spearmint. Um, and it's a uh, pure unadulterated form, not the like flavored saccharin artificial. Oh, I hate those, they're so gross. Um, so I could go on about that, but I try to avoid like peppermint, like, um, although the peppermint sugar cookie that my sister-in-law got and was burning at her house, it wasn't like too strong in the peppermint. So it actually wasn't too bad. Like, like oh, okay, because some of these candles have notes of mint and if it's not like on the top, like I can live with it. Um, okay, so we have Land of Snow. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so Snowy Cypress, 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 uh, Ice Juniper Berries, and fro Frozen Oak Moss. I'm tired. I mean, I think it's over after midnight, so I'm like, excuse me, I'm a little sleepy. Um, but yeah, this is, um, it's different than the winter one. It's like on the stronger side, maybe a little bit of a citrus hint, but it does smell really good. All right, so last but not least, I got the iced gingerbread. Um, I, I actually just saw it like right at the checkout area. It was like right up front, but I guess this was their last one. 
um, and I guess they were being pulled the following day, so I was really glad about this. I almost gave it to my sister-in-law. I, I felt I felt kind of bad, but I actually really, really liked this one. Um, because like, yeah, like I, I've been really drawn to gingerbread lately. Like I've been, I guess Starbucks discontinued their gingerbread latte or whatever. Um, and I'm like, I just want a gingerbread latte. And so I was Googling it and I ended up getting this Tazo uh, gingerbread latte. I think it's decaf. Then they have a pumpkin spice one too. And I got it at Target and then I got some like seasonal whipped creams. Um, I don't know, I just, I've been, I just, really been into gingerbread like this this past year like wanting a gingerbread latte I just like feeling Christmassy because I can't and, and so many different like boba places or coffee places do like peppermint drinks this time of year and I just you know, you know I don't I can't do peppermint so it's just like oh like I want a seasonal drink that isn't like the usual like um praline or caramel brulee or you know what Starbucks usually I just want like gingerbread like let me know if you guys know of a you know, any sort of restaurant in California, really, NorCal, that has a good gingerbread latte, drop a comment down below. I'd, I'd love to know. Okay, so this smells really good. Oh, mm, it's perfect, like, ginger note, like, right on the top. All right, so this is vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and ground nutmeg. Mm, this is, uh, this is, this is perfect. I'm, I might buy... I'm almost afraid to burn it. It smells so good dry or cold. Cold? <laughs> That's I guess how they call it on cold before you light it. It smells really oh my god. Mm. This is honestly one of my favorites. It's not like it smells really good. It doesn't have like that art of, you know, something like where they smell kind of artificial. Like this smells really, really good. Oh. It's just like perfect to get into the, the holiday spirit, wrapping presents, cooking. I just baked some cookies for a uh, potluck I went to earlier. It's why I'm wearing my kitty shirt. Um, but I, Christmas truly is my favorite time of year. And I've just been so busy that I feel like it's just flying by. Um, I don't know, is that happening to you guys? It's just, cra it's a crazy time of year. I'm just, I just, need, I just feel like I need to pause and take a breath. Oh. Take a smell of this gingerbread candle. <sighs> Smells good. All right, guys, I think that's gonna bring me to the end of my Bath and Body Works haul. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Um, I'm, I may or may not check out the, I think the other, the next semi-annual sale is right after Christmas, basically the after Christmas sales uh, is when that starts uh, and that goes on for a couple weeks. So I'll probably check that out maybe, we'll see. Um, but. Yeah, so I've been I've been really, really loving that. So um, yeah, I think that's it's gonna be it. Um, I've noticed Chris, after Christmas sales are is kind of changing. Just like Black Friday, it's getting earlier and earlier. Like they're already clearancing out Christmas stuff, and it's not even Christmas yet. So um, yeah, I guess that explains why after Christmas all the shelves are cleared because they already discounted it before. Um, but yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I found a perfect girl. She's from another world. She puts a smile on my face. Takes me to outer space She takes me higher Now I'm losing ground Starlight shines over you tonight